Hello students, how are you all? Today we will see Standard 7th Subject Science in the chapter number 4. In the previous video part 1 we have seen up to main 4. Today we will see main 5. Answer the following questions in one sentence. One mark each. See the question number 1. Which type of thermometer is used by a nurse to measure the temperature of the patient? Answer is a nurse uses the clinical thermometer to measure the temperature of a patient. See the question number 2. Why do we wear white or light color cotton clothes during the summer? Answer is white or light color cotton clothes absorb less amount of heat and reflects more. So in summer body remains cool. Question number 3. What is the use of kink constriction in the clinical thermometer? Answer is a kink or constriction prevents the mercury from falling down into the bulb on its own. Now see the question number 4. State the modes of transfer of heat. Answer is there are 3 modes of transfers of heat. Number 1 conduction, number 2 convection and number 3 radiation. Question number 5. What is the heat? Answer is heat is one form of energy. Question number 6. How does heat transfer through liquid and gaseous substance? Answer is heat gets transferred through liquid and gaseous substance by convection. Question number 7. What is the sea breeze? Answer is, in the coastal regions, during the day, the flow of cool air from the sea towards the land to replace the hot air on land is called sea breeze. Question number 8. What is the land breeze? Answer is, in the coastal regions, during the night, the currents of currents to air flow from the cooler land towards the warmer sea is called the land breeze. Question number 9. Why does the hot tea become cold after some time? Answer is hot tea loses heat in the atmosphere by radiation so it becomes cold after some time. Question number 10. By which mode of transfer of heat does the milk in the vessel get heated? Answer is, milks get heated in the vessel by convection. Now see the next page. See the define one mark each. Number one, temperature. Answer is, the degree of hotness or coldness of an object is called its temperature. The degree of hotness or coldness of an object is called its temperature. Number 2. Good conductors of heat. C. Answer is the materials which allow heat to pass through them easily and speedily are called good conductors of heat. Number 3. Bad conductors of heat. Answer is the materials which do not allow the materials which do not allow heat to pass through them easily are bad conductors of heat. Now see main 7. Answer the following questions in a sort 2 marks each. Each question carry 2 marks. See the question number 1. Discuss why wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing. Answer is, air is a bad conductor of heat. If in a winter we wear more layers of clothing, air is trapped in between these layers which does not allow the body heat to flow from body to atmosphere. So our body feels warm. While if we wear one thick cloth, then air could not be trapped inside. Hence, it prevents only less amount of heat to flow from body to atmosphere. So, wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing. 
see the question number 2 in places of hot climate it is advisable that the outer walls of ho home be painted white explain answer is in hot climate regions outer walls of houses get heated by radiation in hot climate regions outer walls of houses get heated by radiation if outer walls of houses are painted white the walls absorb less amount of heat through radiation and reflects more heat as a result people residing in these houses feel less hot now see the next page question number 3 digital thermometer is better than mercury thermometer explain answer is digital thermometer is an electronic thermometer which is made using modern technology not mercury or alcohol it gives fast result compared with mercury thermometer it means we don't have to wait till hot liquid to raise up the result obtained from digital thermometer is better than mercury thermometer now see the question number four which precaution should be observed while using a clinical thermometer answer is following precautions must be taken while using a clinical thermometer number one always wash the thermometer with an antiseptic solution before and after use number two hold it firmly from the opposite end of the mercury side and give it a few jerks to bring the level of mercury below 35 degrees celsius number three do not hold the thermometer by the bulb see the question number five write the procedure of measuring your body temperature with the help of clinical thermometer answer is on a clinical thermometer note the temperature difference indicated between two big marks also note the number of divisions between these marks now wash the clinical thermometer with an antiseptic solution next point hold it firmly and give it few jerks to bring the level of mercury below 35 degrees celsius next point place the bulb of the thermometer under your tongue for one minute next point after one minute take out the thermometer from your mouth and note the reading which is temperature of your body now see question number six what are the precautions needed while measuring the temperature of a substance using the laboratory thermometer answer is the thermometer should be kept upright not tilted next point is bulb should be surrounded from all sides by the substance of which the temperature is to be measured next point the temperature must be read when the thermometer is in contact with the substance next point the bulb should not touch the surface of the container of the container here the container is can't be readed but it's a container now see the next page next point the temperature in the thermometer has to be measured by keeping the eye parallel to the scale marked on the thermometer see the question number seven before using the clinical thermometer why few jerks are given to it answer is in the clinical thermometer there is a kink just above the mercury bulb hence in thermometer mercury remains at the level which is previously measured next point is now to measure the new temperature the mercury must be brought down below 35 degrees celsius so that actual temperature can be measured for this purpose few jerks are given to the thermometer question number eight explain conduction in solid substance answer is the process by which heat is transferred from hotter end to the colder end of the solid means metal is called conduction when solid substance is heated at one end the molecules of that part do not change their original position but oscillates with more frequency and amplitude above their respective mean 
positions and the neighboring molecules also get affected through the intermolecular forces prevailing in the substance these molecules transfer their effect to other nearby molecules see the question number 9 explain convection in liquids answer is convection is a mode of heat propagation in which heat moves from one place to another by actual motion of material particles next point when liquid is heated from below liquid of that part expands and therefore its density decreases such a light liquid rises up and the cold liquid it means heavier liquid moves down toward the source of heat next point this liquid also becomes hot and rises and liquid from the sides move down this process continues till the whole liquid gets heated now we will see the main eight in the next video part 3 okay bye stay safe stay healthy